she's alive! Yay! Hey gang, I'm JP and welcome back to Talk in the Orville on Egotastic Fun Time, your number one source for all things going on in the 25th century. And today is a very special car time video. Yes, for those of you that are new here, sometimes I work in the studio, sometimes I work on the street, sometimes I work in the car to bring you content about the Orville, my thoughts on the Orville, the Orville universe. I'm the Orville guy, that's what I do. They call me the Orville evangelist for a reason. And if you stay tuned to this video, I'm going to give you a pro tip on content creation on YouTube. If you are a person that wants to be a content creator on YouTube, i got a little pro tip for you when starting a channel or managing the channel that you already have. First off, i got to say this is a brand new week of talk in the Orville right here on Egotastic Fun Time, so expect a bunch of videos over the next couple days and of course the rest of the month uh, on various things having to do with a uh, utopian future that the Orville provides us. I want to say thank you to all of you who have brought me back to life, who have brought the Ego Mobile back to life. Uh, she wasn't doing so well last week. She was down and out for the count and I was out for the count because of that, because I rely on this beautiful shuttle pod of gas and rubber and plastic they make cars out of nowadays, I guess, and the Go-Go Mobile. You gotta go sometimes, you guys, sometimes to the pea corner. I have not gone ahead and pulled the trigger on putting some flames and maybe a unicorn on the side to make this thing really cool. But you know, hey, you gotta pick and choose your upgrades sometimes. Wanted to talk to you guys today about why I chose the Orville to exclusively obsess over on this one YouTube channel. And uh, here's the little bit of a pro tip. You know, there's a lot of people out there trying to, to have YouTube channels be content creators. A lot of channels like my own are covering everything that comes out. Every movie, every TV show, every Star Trek thing, every Star Wars thing, Mandalorian thing, which is technically a Star Wars thing, even though I think it's a little bit better than regular old Star Wars. I'm sure a lot of people agree with that. Every nerdy piece of content that you can passively absorb in your life on your screens uh, channels are covering all of that stuff I don't do that here because I know from years of doing YouTube and from just lots of research and I'm not talking about something my crazy uncle said on Facebook actual research from professionals pick a thing be an expert on that thing put out video after video about that thing. Now, I, I put in as much variety as I can about that one thing. In this case, the Orville. Orville sketches, Orville songs, Orville theme recreations, and Orville news, and my thoughts on Orville's, re the reviews, all that great stuff. Can't wait to start some new reviews for season three, you guys. I recommend picking one thing that you love, that you're passionate about, and just making content about that one thing. Become the expert at that one thing. Don't try to cover it all, because everyone else is doing that you need to stand out and you, if, if you're gonna be discovered you got to be known for a thing you got to be the guy people come to for that thing for me that's the Orville the Orville is something that I'm excited about the universe the characters I'm excited about the adventures the adventures they go on it's become much more than that for me the Orville has very much become my life I have nothing to do with the show really but it has become my life I think about the Orville every single single day. Whether it be what's going on with the Orville, what I can create to add to the fandom, or to chat with you guys about during our live shows. I love doing th theories. You guys know that about me. Pick that one thing. People will come to you for it. People will find you if you pick one thing. So anyway, enough with that crap, you guys. Um, I chose the Orville because I'm excited about it. It was new. It was fresh. It was borrowing from a lot of things that I was already excited about in my life. And then it turned out that the people that make the Orville are amazing, wonderful, dedicated people. So I just got further into it and made relationships with people from the Orville. Uh, side note, I will have this week very exciting news, a very exciting announcement to make for talking the Orville Egotastic Fun Time. Having to do with the Road to the Orville Part 
two. Yes, I'm heading out again. I'll give you guys the details this week because it's getting all put together right now. The, the dates and the people to talk to and and uh, the adventures to be had in Los Angeles on, a, on a, another trip to the a road to the Orville engineering edition. Boom! Bam. I chose the Orville and I still choose the Orville till this day. Uh, right now, that's where I'm at right now because a lot of people are like, oh, you're just doing one thing. Um, I love your stuff, but what happens when the Orville's gone? Well, then I pick another thing. It's easy. You pick another thing you're passionate about that hopefully aligns with what you guys want to know about, and I move in that direction. But I'm sure there's always going to be a little bit of Orville to talk about throughout the years. No matter how many seasons we get, hopefully you know, at least five or six more seasons after season three is done. But I chose the Oroville because it's the best community. It's the best fandom. It's fresh and new. It doesn't have decades and decades of people have just gotten old and jaded and are afraid because the world's moved on without them and then they let that fear come out into the way they interact with other people. The, the, the Orville does not have that. I love Star Trek. Absolutely love Star Trek. Classic Star Trek especially. And I've learned to enjoy uh, much of the new Star Trek as well uh, because I realize new generations of people out there with new ideas and new and new things they want to, and ideas they want to explore and past they want to go down you, you take it for that and you enjoy what you enjoy and you don't enjoy what you don't enjoy and you move on and watch something else because what's the point of being angry at stuff there's a jet oh man science at work wow 60 year old technology just getting more and more loud in the sky hey buddy how you doing how's the view up there silly old jet flyer you where was I? i've communicated in ways about things that aren't important because i'm just not happy with my station in life once i recognize that i stopped doing it i cut it out i start doing things that make me happy I start enjoying myself a little bit more and then the more i enjoyed myself the more i enjoyed other things so in a lot of ways as much as i love star trek and we love just to talk about star trek all day long portion of the audience has been so overwhelmed with uh, uh, negativity that has taken over the entire audience. You can't even go into a positive space in the Star Trek world anymore, in the Star Trek fandom anymore, without being overtaken by uh, unhappiness commandos that are, that are that come in and just you could talk about an old episode of the original series somebody's going to come in and talk about what they hate about the new stuff and I'm like we're not even having that conversation take that shit somewhere else okay even though it's a small portion they've taken over too much of the audience I think the Star Trek audience has priced themselves out of the market for something I'd be interested in diving into and and really exploring we're here to have a good time an egotastic fun time Time. So that's another reason I stick with the Orville. And we got exciting Orville news on the horizon coming up. We still do not know exactly when the Orville is going to air their third season, when they're going to drop that first episode or maybe the first couple episodes. A lot of times with these streaming services, they'll drop a couple episodes and then they'll move to weekly. And we're going to have 10 episodes of season three, very long ambitious, big, explosive, pew-pew episodes, you guys. And once I find out when they're going to be dropping season three, you know I'm going to be in your guys' face. The second I learn it, we're going to talk about it, and I'll let you guys know when it's going to happen. And then I'm going to start writing out plans, talking the Orville season three schedule. Uh, because uh, once I know, then I can start making plans and we can start figuring out when all the live shows are going to be. Uh, you know, get a little head start on some of the review materials and, and things like that for the upcoming episodes. I can't wait to get started. Get elbow deep and some Orville goodness, you guys. So when it comes to the Orville and me choosing the Orville and to me being the professional Orville knowledge fandom YouTube guy until... Uh, season three is completely finished and we've exhausted all the conversations we can have about it I'll be making Orville videos before I move on to that next thing uh, It might just be an interim thing So once the Orville is done for with their third season and we're done talking about it I'll find some interim topic to, to become a professional expert at that's a fun topic egotastic fun time topic um, And then if the Orville comes back, I'm gonna move right back into covering Orville stuff stay tuned for that big announcement this week uh, for the Road to the Oroville Part 2 Engineering 
style. We're gonna be doing some engineering stuff. There's gonna be some big booms this week. Uh, I'm very excited and uh, I'll see you guys very soon. And as always, I hope all your times are egotastic fun times. Love you, bye-bye. Egotastic fun time. We're gonna have a great time. Egotastic fun time. Give me all your money. Give him all your money. You will find me funny. Just give me money. I love money. Give me all your 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 money.